My name is Susan Johnson. I'm 66 years old, and I'm not embarrassed to say my age. I've been married to my husband for 46 years. I have two grown children, and I just love my grandchildren. I enjoy life. Life is just too short to worry about the small things. I have to say that the hospital, uh, my team of doctors, actually saved my life. The first time I went into an ICU and saw Susan in this condition, I had to sit down. It leaves you breathless. This is the woman I married, the woman I love. She's hooked up to all of this equipment over here and I've never seen any of it before. It was very scary because as I was lying in ICU, in my mind I thought, this is how I'm going to be for the rest of my life. And to be that way did not make me feel safe because I did not want to be that way. And I didn't think people knew exactly what I wanted. I had no preconceived ideas about what Susan would want in a situation like that. And she didn't either, frankly. After I got out of the hospital, I did a lot of thinking. And I wanted my family to know exactly what I wanted if I ever got in a position like I did. It is important for somebody else to be able to say, this is what Susan wants, and perhaps this is what Susan or Jerry have written down. I wanted the main players in my life to know what I want in case that happens again, because if my husband is, is not around and it's up to my daughter and my son, I don't want them to feel guilty. I want them to see on paper that they're just speaking for their mom. I've had the conversation uh, with my husband. I've tried to have had the conversation with my daughter, Jill, and my son, Jeffrey. And I especially have had the conversation with my primary care doctor, Dr. Carol Bates. It was just a regular routine appointment. And after we did our blood pressure and we discussed what was going on in, in that period of time, I'm the one said, Carol, I want you to know if anything should happen to me like it did happen not too long ago, this is what I want. So she definitely knows, she definitely knows, and Jerry knows, so I've had this conversation and, and I'm ready. Having had this conversation with Susan, I would hope to be in a much better position in understanding and respecting her wishes, should this something terrible ever happen again. If that time comes, I want my entire team inside the Beth Israel Deaconess Hospital to know exactly what my wishes are, because that's, that's my hospital. I think everyone should talk about it. <laughs>